these people couldn't find her. Vivi yeah. Shevachula. Yeah. Christina Chan. Yeah. Doug Henry. Yeah. Today's episode, The Nose Domes. And this man is special agent in charge of training new recruits, Greg Lee. Yeah. Thank you very much. Gumshoes, how are you? Fine. Ready to do this? Yeah. yeah. Let's do it then. Chief, we're ready. Carmen San Diego's gang has sandbagged us again. Vic the Slick scaled Mount Rushmore and nabbed the nose right off of Lincoln's face. Located in the Black Hills of South Dakota, the 60-foot presidential heads took over 14 years to blast out of solid rock. Now, Vic Slick was last seen hanging out of Lincoln's nose. Roosevelt saw the nose run, and as you can see, Washington was looking the other way. Now, your job, gumshoes, is to trap Vic. Bring back the nose to its rightful owner, and then bring Carmen San Diego to justice. Greg? Thanks a lot, Chief. Okay, Gumshoes, what we're going to do is start you off with 50 Acme crime bucks. Anytime you answer any question correctly, we'll give you an extra 10 crime bucks. The two of you with the highest score at the end of this round will then proceed to the next round, okay? Now, before we try to find out where Vic is, let's find out a little bit more about you detectives. First of all, Vivi, you have an unusual hobby, it says, right? Yes, I collect hats. How many do you have? Uh, I have about 34. Name some of the kinds that you have. Oh, I have a lot of baseball hats, like the Cubs and the Phillies and the Mets and the Boston Red Sox. Okay. And uh, your favorite hat that you have? I have a Confederate hat from the Civil War. Very good. Christina, it says here that uh, you play an instrument. Um, yes, I play a saxophone. Great. How'd you get into it? Um, I have a cousin who's, well, really a good friend who goes to high school where it's, like, his specialty is music, and he got me into playing like um, saxophone. And what would you say are your influences for, for your music? Well, um, I listen to a little Miles Davis and Sonny Rollins. So. Oh, very nice. And other music that you listen to? Um, I like Jane's Addiction and Depeche Mode. Very nice. Okay. Uh, Doug, you have an unusual hobby as well. What is it? Well, I like to be, I'd like to be a pilot, and I like to study airplanes. Now, you, you have been doing some studying about that now, right? Yes. My, me and my brother have been, my brother's been going over reading material about airplanes, and he's been showing me maps and charts and all sorts of diagrams of airplanes. That sounds great. I bet you can't wait till you can fly, right? No, I can't How long wait. will that be? About mm, three more years. Three more years. Okay, well, you'll, you'll make it. What do you want to be when, the, when all your training's over? Well, I'd like to be a Tomcat pilot when I grow up. I'd like to be uh, in the Navy, and I hope I'll, I hope I'll make it. Well, good I enough. I, could. I think you could, too. Okay. Nice to have all of you on the case. Relax. Enjoy yourself. Let's get started. Chief? Vic needed a place to stash the super schnoz, so he headed to even bigger hills. Called the Shining Mountains by Native Americans, these peaks reach nosebleed heights of 14,000 feet and stretch 3,000 miles along the continent. You'll also find the first national park there. That sounds like a place you know, Chief. Oh, I do indeed. It's got the best trout fishing in the country. Now get going, gumshoes. Okay, we will do, Chief. All right, gumshoes, where did Vic take the nose? Was it the Rocky Mountains, Sierra Nevada Mountains, or Blue Ridge Mountains? Remember the clues that we heard from the chief? It's called the Shining Mountains. It's 14,000 feet high, and trout fishing is also there. All right, put the evidence together. Come up with an answer as quickly as you can, please. BV, we'll start with you. What do you say? I picked the, the Rocky Mountains. Rocky Mountains. Christina? I picked the Rocky Mountains. The Rocky Mountains. Doug? Well, Greg, I picked the Rocky Mountains. The Rocky Mountains. The answer we're looking for is the Rocky Mountains. Nice job, guys. <laughs> okay, that means, Vivi, you have 60, Christina, you have 60, and Doug, you have 60. That's the way we need to do it. Now, unfortunately, we lost Vic in the mountains, but we landed this fishy character who said he'd talk to us as long as we uh, get him off the hook. Listen. He headed for a big city on a great lake. It's where they keep the Shedded Aquarium, the world's largest indoor aquarium. Talk about an aquatic paradise. They sure know how to treat a guy with gills. There's also this big river running through town. And about a hundred years ago, the city engineers made it turn around. It used to flow into the lake, but now it flows away from it. 
I'm telling you, the place is a wonderland for water-oriented persons like myself. Name the city, if you will, please. Is it Milwaukee, Buffalo, or Chicago? Remember the things that we heard from Mo Pesci, the talking fish? City on a great lake, shed aquarium, and engineers turned around a river there, all right? Vivi, we'll start with you. Well, I picked Chicago. Chicago. Christine, how about you? I picked Milwaukee. Milwaukee. How about you, Doug? I picked Buffalo. Buffalo, the answer we're looking for is Chicago. Nice job, Vivi. Okay. That means, Vivi, you have 70, Christina, you have 60, and Doug, you have 60 Acme Crime Bucks. Very close. That's the way we ought to do it. Now, uh, Vic loaded the nose onto a nine-ton trailer headed east toward uh, on I-80. But uh, we have two Acme celeb nets who saw him. Listen very closely. Regis and Kathy Lee. Saw him? Who could miss him? <laughs> You've heard of gridlock? We're talking schnozlock of mammoth proportions. First, he stalls the truck in the Brooklyn Battery Tunnel, right? Mm -hmm. Then the thing jackknifed yeah. on Canal Street. Where did this guy get his license? In a cereal box? Yeah, he was headed for Grant's tumor. Lincoln's nose in Grant's tomb. What a concept. <laughs> okay, name the city, if you will, please. Is it Boston, New York City, or Washington, D.C.? Remember the clues that we heard? Brooklyn Battery Tunnel, Canal Street, and Grant's Tomb. And Vivi is ready. So let's hear from you first. Vivi, what do you say? I picked New York City. New York City. Christina, how about you? Greg, I picked New York City. New York City. Doug? Greg, I picked New York City also. The answer we're looking for is New York City. Good job, guys. <laughs> okay. Vivi, you have 80 crime bucks. Christina, 70. And Doug, 70. This is still a very close match. That's exactly that. I would say. Yeah. That only means one thing. It's time for the... Lightning round! Thank you very much. <laughs> Which means we're going to give you a chance to get some extra crime bucks. What I'm going to do is I have three questions here. The first one of you that answers one of these questions correctly, I'll give an extra five crime bucks to. Okay? So hands on the buzzers, please. And listen very carefully. Here we go. In 1524, Giovanni da Verrazzano dropped anchor in a bay that would someday become the busy New York Harbor. Today... Yes, Vivi. Hudson Bay. I'm sorry, that's not the answer we're looking for. Christina and Doug, I'll finish the question for you. Today, the Verrazano Narrows Bridge connects Staten Island with which other borough? Christina. Queens. I'm sorry, Queens is not the answer we're looking for. Doug, would you like to try? Brooklyn. Brooklyn's the answer we're looking for. There we go. You got some kind of different kind of strategy, whether you want to answer that question early or wait until it's completely finished. It's, it's, it's uh, your call, depending on how you want to do it. Question two. Originally located on Madison Avenue at 26th Street, this indoor stadium moved one more time before settling at 7th Avenue and 32nd Street. Christina. Madison Square Garden. Madison Square Garden. Nice job. There you go. All right. Hands on the buzzers for the last question. Here we go. The United Nations headquarters in New York City is home to 159 member nations. Five member nations are permanent members of the Security Council. Name any two of them. Vivi. Um, the U.S. and uh, Britain. The U.S. and Britain is correct. That's right. There's also France, China, and Northern Ireland. Nice job. So, Vivi, you have 85, Christina 75, and Doug 75. That's the way to do this Greg? thing. Chief, yeah. Greg in my office, Toronto. Okay, uh, I'll, be, I'll be right there. Let me, uh, let me go check on her. You guys stick around here. I'll be right back. I don't know. <laughs> what's the matter? Stick around. Chief, what's the matter? Greg, I have begged. I have pleaded. I have cajoled. I have done everything to get this investigation moving. Well, but Chief, listen, they're rookies. You gotta go oh, easy. You don't understand. You see, it's my reputation is on the line. Headquarters, all they want are results. If I don't get Carmen San Diego, they're gonna make me lose my job. I need a clean act. Chief, I get this. Here, here, here. It's okay. I'm sorry. I didn't realize it was this upsetting to you. If don't I would have... Don't touch me. I'm just, I just didn't don't know, because had I known don't before... Stop. I'm sorry. <laughs> listen, gumshoes, if you want to help the Chief, now is the time. <laughs> listen up. I got an idea. The one of you that catches Carmen San Diego, I'll give you a trip to anywhere in the lower 48 states, huh? Greg. But, see, yeah. Greg, uh, isn't that bribery? What we're calling it incentive. <laughs> oh, oh, that's all right. There. Uh, Greg? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, go away. Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right, gumshoes, listen up. Those of you at home, listen, here's the thing I need. Before we can get Carmen San Diego and get that trip, we've got to find Vic the Slick and we've got to get that nose back. I need your help. Matter of fact, I need everybody's help. Crew, I need your help. Are you behind me? Yeah! yeah. How about you, Rockapella? Yeah! Audience, are you behind me? Yeah! Hey, then. Come on, let's do this thing. Let's do it right now. 
All right, Gumshoes, to give you a hand now, Acme Bugnet has just intercepted this phone conversation between Vic the Slick and Carmen San Diego. Listen. Carmen, I think they're on to me. I'm at the Firth of Fourth. What do I do now? Don't panic. Park the nose behind the castle. Then put on a tartan plaid kilt and blend in with the bagpipers. Jeez, Carmen, I like plaid, but a kilt? Those things are kind of drafty. Deal with it, Vic, and keep your nose clean. It ain't my nose I'm worried about. All right, Gumshoes, name the city. Is it Landidno, Dublin, Edinburgh? Now, remember the clues that we heard. Firth of Fourth, tartan plaid, kilt, and bagpipers. Put the evidence together. Come up with an answer as quickly as you can, please. Looks like we're hot on the trail. Everybody's ready. Vivi, we'll start with you. What do you say? I chose Dublin. Dublin. Christina, how about you? I chose Dublin. Dublin. Doug, how about you? Greg, I chose Dublin. Edinburgh. Edinburgh, and the answer we're looking for is Edinburgh. Nice job, Doug. Okay, that means, Vivi, you have 85, Christina, you have 75, and Doug, you have 85. Yeah, come in. Yeah, I got a free postage stamp delivery. Free? Why is it free? These stamps come from a tiny country in the Pyrenees Mountains where the postal system is free for the citizens. That's because they support it by selling stamps to collectors all around the world. See, that's just my point. Why is it free? Because I'm not a citizen of that country. Are you not? No. Oh, then pay up, freeloader. I'll put it on my tab, Pally. What tab? I got credit. Yeah, not good enough credit. Well, look, I'll owe you, all right? Wait, what about my tip? Uh, buy low, sell high. Buy low, sell high. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, gumshoes, name the country. Is it Andorra, San Marino, Liechtenstein? Remember the clues that we heard from the stamp man? Tiny country, Pyrenees Mountains, and free postal service. Vivi, start with you. Go ahead. I chose Andorra. Andorra. Christina, how about you? Greg, I chose San Marino. San Marino. How about you, Doug? Greg, I chose Andorra. The answer we're looking for is Andorra. Nice job, Doug and Vivi. We get 10 more time bars. That means Vivi and Doug, you have 95. Christina, you have 75. That's exactly what we're looking for. Okay. Now, uh, it seems like we've hit a dead end, actually. A cul-de-sac, a brick wall. So no, I'm... you haven't. <laughs> oh, no, it's... Uh... It's him. Who were you expecting, Levi Stubbs? Now listen up. He went to an island in the Mediterranean Sea. Now why would he go there? Maybe he's a fan of the Godfather movies. They were partially shot there. Or perhaps he took the nose to sniff that volcano, Mount Etna. Why he went there is your department, pal. I just give hints. Okay, well, uh, thanks a lot. And straighten your tie for once. Okay, okay, okay. All right, thank you. <laughs> kind of bugs me. All right, name the island, if you will, please. Is it Sicily, Sardinia, or Corsica? Remember the clues that we heard from the voice? Mount Etna, Godfather was filmed there, and Mediterranean Island. Vivi is ready. We'll start with you. What do you say? Well, I chose Sicily. Sicily. How about you, Christina? Well, I chose Sicily also. Sicily, how about you, Doug? Well, I chose Sicily also. Everybody says Sicily. Everybody's right. Nice job, Dumpy. All right. That means, Vivi, you have 105. Christina, you have 85. And, Doug, you have 105. It is now time for the final clue of this round, which means you have to make some decisions. This time, you get to decide how much you want to risk. If you're right, we'll add that amount to your score. If you're not right, we'll subtract it from your score. Now, you can risk 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, or 50 Acme Crime Bucks. All right, everybody, look right over here, if you will, please. Here's a portion of the world where we think Vic the Slick is headed. Now, if you know a lot about this part of the world, you may want to risk a lot. If you don't know very much about it, you may not want to risk quite so much. So, take a look at the map and think about it. Now, Vic was last seen smuggling the nose onto a tramp steamer. And so we're not really sure exactly where he's going, but we think we know somebody who might. So uh, if everyone will just remain calm for a moment, we have an informant that I'd like you to meet and listen very closely to the informant as whatever he has to say. Listen very closely, if you will, please, to the fly. It's me, the fly on the wall. I got word from my cousin who stowed away with Vic on that steamer. They crossed the Strait of Gibraltar. Vic went to the Sultan's palace in the Casbah, where he scarfed down a whole plate of couscous. He didn't leave a morsel for my cousin to polish off. I don't like that guy. 
He's entirely too clean. <laughs> All right, come shoes. <laughs> Name the si the fly, folks. The fly. The fly. The fly. The fly. The fly. <laughs> Name the city, if you will, please. Is it Tripoli, Libya, Tangier, Morocco, or Tunis, Tunisia? Remember the things that we heard from the fly, Strait of Gibraltar, Sultan's Palace, and Couscous. Now, Christina, you have 85. Before you show me your answer, how much did you risk? I risked 20 points. You risked 20. If you get this one right, you'll be right up there with the other guys. What do you say? I, I think it's Tangier. Tangier, you're exactly right. Nice job. That puts you right up there. You're tied now with Vivi and Doug, but we need to see first what they thought. Vivi, how much did you risk? I risked 30. You risked 30. This will put you in the lead if you're right. What was your answer? I chose Tangier. Tangier, nice job. You're in the lead. Puts you up to 135. Doug, you're at, you're at 105 right now. How much did you risk? I risked 20. You risked 20. Get this one right, you'll be in second place. You and Vivi will then go on to the next round. If you're right, what'd you say? I chose Tunis. Tunis, I'm sorry, you're wrong. That means you get on, you get on 20. That means Christina and Vivi, you guys will be going on to the next round. Congratulations, good job. <laughs> Doug, listen, man, you're a great detective. You did some great stuff for us today. Sorry you have to leave, but we have assembled a great kit for you that's gonna help you in your next case. Chief? It's the official Acme Crime Net Travel Kit, and it includes a World Traveler's Atlas, the official Carmen watch, a Carmen t-shirt, and a subscription to National Geographic's World Magazine. Thanks for all your good work on this case. And Doug, I salute you. Thanks a lot, Chief. Okay, guys, listen up. What you're gonna do now is go on to Tangiers to try to find Victor Slick and get that nose back. You gotta get them and bring them back, okay? But I want you to know, we don't send our agents out into the field unprepared Chief, how about a briefing? All right, Gumshoes. Here's the scoop on Tangier. Now, it's located on the northwestern tip of Africa, and it commands the Strait of Gibraltar. Now, it was settled as early as 8th century B.C., and the ancient Romans called it Tingis. Now, the boys down at Acme Photo Recon have put together a few slides for you. The Gran Soco. Now, it's an open area surrounded by souks, or markets, and it is a perfect place for Vic to hawk the schnoz. Next, the Kasbah. Now, it's the highest point of the city because Kasbah means citadel or fortress. Look around this area and then check out Dar el Kazan. Now, it was built in the 17th century as a palace for the Sultan Moulay Ismail. Now, it's a museum. It just might be there that you'll find Vic the Slick. El Menzah a five-star hotel. Now, of course, Vic would never actually stay in a place like this, but he likes to hang around in the lobbies and have himself paged. So go there and look for him. You know, this reminds me of an uncle of mine. He built a hotel, and he wanted to name it after himself. He said, huh, Ritz, Sheridan, Hilton, they all named their hotels after themselves. Why shouldn't I? Uh, the problem was that my uncle's name is Um Flum Flum Flum. And eventually, we convinced him that no one would ever stay in a place called the Hotel Um Flum Flum Flum. So he named it after his daughter. And it's a nice place. And if you're ever nearby, check it out. It's called the Hotel Plenary Plenary. It's a great place. Now, gum shoes. Vic and Lincoln's nose are in Tangier. Go find them. All right, Gumshoes, here we are in Tangier. Set your stuff down right about here and uh, take your places right over there. Let me show you what we have going on. Here are the possible locations where you'll be able to find Vic the Slick, the nose, and a warrant for Vic's arrest. Now, the first thing you have to do is find the loot. Once you do that, then that's the evidence you need in order to get a warrant. Once you get the warrant, then you can make your arrest. If you get all three of those in that order in a single turn, then you get a chance to try to get Carmen San Diego. If you catch Carmen San Diego, then you get that trip to anywhere in the lower 48 United States. Now, one more thing. You can pick any one of these locations you want to, all right? But if you happen upon the loot, the warrant, or the crook, you get a free look, okay? Vivi, you were ahead at the end of the last round. We'll let you go first. I will take the mosque. The mosque. Okay, nothing there. Christina? Um, the library. The library. The warrant. Nice job. That's the warrant. Now, that's in the middle, but go ahead. You get a free look. Um, Elminza. Elminza. 
Okay, now you got the warrant and Vic, but remember it's out of order, so you don't want to find the loot if you're if you don't want to. Christina? Cafe Detroit. Cafe Detroit. Okay, nothing there. Nice strategy. BB, your turn. Ferry terminal. Ferry terminal. Nothing there. Christina? The tea room. The tea room. Nothing there. BB? Um, the Grand so Soco. The Grand Soco. Nothing there. Christina? The beach. The beach. Abe's honker. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's the, that's the loot that we need. You need the other two? You know where they are. Go ahead. Uh, I'll take the library. The library. The warrant. One more. Almenza. Almenza. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come on over here, Christina. Congratulations. Some nice detective work. If you can just stay right over there, BB. I'll come with you in just a second. Christina, one more thing I need for you to do. You got Victor Slick. Now we got to put him in jail. Pull on this chain and do it. The Slick's in jail. BB, look, you're a great detective. You tracked Victor Slick all the way to Tangiers, but uh, you just kind of ran, ran out of luck here at the end. We got some great stuff for you, though. Chief? It's a pocket translator for instant translations of 14,000 words and phrases in 10 European languages. Nice work, gumshoe. Okay, Christina, one more thing I need you to do. I want you to take this portfolio. Open it up, please. There's a pen inside. What I want you to do is write down where you would like to go if you catch Carmen San Diego and win that trip to anywhere in the lower 48 United States. Do it right now, please. Okay, listen, Christina, you've had a great day today, right? You got picked the slick, you got the nose back. Now we're going to go try to get Carmen San Diego. Hold on a second. Can you hold on to this? Okay. Let me uh, answer this phone if I can. <laughs> Hello? Oh, yeah, she's right here. Hold on. It's for you. I'm going to need some company in the slammer. So here's the scoop on Carmen. Look for her in Europe. Well, so much for honor among thieves. Looks like you and I are going to Europe. Chief? Christine, here's a list of places Carmen may have traveled. Portugal, Spain, Ireland, France, Luxembourg, Italy, Poland, Hungary, Yugoslavia, Finland, Albania, Bulgaria. Greg, take Christine to the map. This is it, you guys. They're right, right here. Okay, Christina, this is it. What you're going to have to do is track Carmen San Diego through seven different countries, identifying each country with a marker. Now, if you're right, you'll hear this sound. But if you're wrong, you'll hear this sound. Okay? Now, if you're wrong two times, don't worry about it. Leave the marker where it is and go on to the next clue. But if you're right seven times in 45 seconds, you will then win that trip to wherever you wrote down in that portfolio. Sound okay to you? Yes. Sound good to you guys? Yeah! Let's go get your first marker. Come on. Okay, Christina, I have your clues right here. As soon as you start hearing the clues, if you know where it is, run as fast as you possibly can. Okay? Let's get 45 seconds up on the clock. Good luck to you. Relax. Do a great job. Here we go. On your mark. Get set. Go. Toledo was a religious center for three faiths. Carmen went to Spain. Yeah. She sucked to Alsace on the west bank of the Rhine. Carmen went to France. France. Yeah. Its capital city is Budapest. Carmen went to Hungary. 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 No, that's not it. Try it again. Try it again. Try it again. Not it. Come on, let's do another one. Carmen coasted to Faro in this court making country. She went to Portugal. 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 Come on. That's it. This country and this capital city share the same name. Carmen went to Luxembourg. Come on, do it. Do it. Do it. Yeah. Come on. The 1984 Olympics were held in Severo. Carmen went to Yugoslavia. Yugoslavia. Come on, try again. Try again. Yugoslavia. Yugoslavia. No. Okay, let's go. Come on, Turk Crack on Warsaw. Oh. Come on, Ed. how many did she get? She got four right. Give her a round of applause, guys. Come here, Christine. I'm telling you, that could be tough. Sometimes Carmen is just tough to catch. That's all there is to it. But she got uh, Victor Slick. He got the nose back. Not bad, eh, Chief? Ah, uh, Christina, you did good work all through the day. And we here at headquarters, well, we pitched in and we purchased a portable CD player that we thought you might enjoy, and a selection of CDs from around the world. Okay, thanks, you. That's not bad, right? CD player? All right. 
Look, I know you've been doing a lot of great stuff for us today. There's one more thing I want you to do for us. You know what it is. Let's do it. Do it, Rockefeller. Yeah, do it, Rockefeller. <laughs> this program was bankrolled by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by viewers like you. program was brought to you by Toyota and this program was brought to you by the hotel for family fun all over the world holiday inn